Cloth Diaper channel. This is everything I think you need to know to be successful with cloth diapering at the hospital. And this is referring to your postpartum stay um, if you give birth in the hospital. Um, and it is based on my experience. Your hospital could be different. Mm -hmm. And I also think some of this information could apply mm -hmm. if you um, are in a birth center or even do a home birth situation. Um, so I hope you find this helpful. Another contingency for using cloth diapers in the hospital could be any NICU situation or if there's a big problem um, with mom, any complications with babies. I don't know how that would affect um, being able to use cloth diapers in the hospital because any kind of protocols for elimination and such might be more strict. And the order this is going to go, myths um, for things that supposedly prevent you from using cloth diapers in the hospital, tips that we found were helpful to make it work, uh, the laundry situation, what you should bring with you to the hospital, and a brief introduction and my take on newborn diapers. There are already newborn cloth diaper videos on this channel and I bet that a couple of our members are going to have some of those coming up as well. well. Why not cloth diaper in the hospital? Start from the beginning. Start from diaper number one. Keep your bottom baby bottom cute for all those pictures. Um, keep him eco-friendly. Get that carbon footprint nice and low from the start. You don't have to wait until you get home from the hospital. You don't have to wait the couple of weeks until the umbilical cord falls off. Um, though, though you can if you want, a lot of people do that, but I came up with a list of myths that are things that I heard from uh, my friends who are moms, from my parents, from um, the gynecologists at the practice that I was going to um, that were things that they thought would either have me be, would either ban the use of cloth diapers in the hospital or at least discourage it. And I find, found all these to be false. The first is that you can't take biomedical waste with you. Um, and biomedical waste is referring to the pee and the poop. Well, this was not a role at my hospital. Um, you can do as you please with your baby's poop. Um, and uh, taking it home didn't cause the spread of any disease or anything. No one gave me a problem with that. Myth number two, nurses need to count your baby's diapers. Maybe this is the case at other hospitals or it was in the past, but at, in our experience, it was actually our responsibility to keep a pee, poop and pee count for our son during the postpartum stay. And it's possible to count them without using disposables and throwing them away. Um, my son Leo actually had issues. Um, he wasn't eating and he didn't pee for a very long time. And it was a little tricky at first to tell if um, the wetness that we were feeling in his diaper was perspiration or pee. And what helped with that is we put a liner in the diaper, um, just your biodegradable um, liners and the liner would hold on to that um, the yellow coloration um, the, because he was a bit dehydrated by then um, as well as the um, the orange crystals that he got from being dehydrated those stayed on the liner so we could clearly see when he had peed and this was the only time that we got a little um, encouragement from the nurse on duty to use a disposable diaper because those had a pH reading that would change colors um, when the pee, when there was pee in it. Um, but our solution to that was using the liners instead that showed the yellow color of the pee. Third myth is that cloth diapers are just too different from the routine of the nurses and the technicians. Well. Cloth diapers were not familiar to the nurses and technicians and staff members, but they were interested in learning about them and they totally backed off and let us do the own thing, our own thing. There was no pressure at all to follow their usual disposable diaper protocol. I never saw a disposable um, diaper or wipe.
And if you're going into this expecting that the nurses are going to be changing all of your baby di all of your baby's diapers, you're going to be <laughs> disappointed and surprised to learn that uh, that it is your responsibility. So if you want to use cloth, go ahead and use cloth. Here are some tips that I think could make cloth diapering uh, easier and more successful for you after you have your baby in the hospital. A couple things you can do ahead of time to be prepared. One is to prep your diapers. Make sure that the diapers themselves are ready to go. Diapers, um, depending on their material, require a certain number of washes to be absorbent and to have uh, some of the stuff you don't want touching your baby's skin off of them. If you are going to be using any pre-folds, practice the fold. Um, there are a variety of folds and the basic ones aren't very difficult, but practice on a teddy bear, a doll you got for your baby. Um, we practiced on a sock monkey. Um, my husband really wanted to practice on our cats. Sense of the culture at your hospital and how cloth diapers might be received by asking questions on your hospital tour or even calling the hospital and um, asking directly. If you meet with some resistance by the nurse you're talking to or whoever's giving your tour, try to find out why cloth isn't accepted and maybe it's just because it's not usually done. Um, see if you can't change some minds and tell them how easy it will be and especially if you're going to have some help from your family, how uh, they'll be uninvolved and it won't really affect the people on the staff at all. Include your cloth diaper aspirations in your birth plan. Um, when you're writing your birth plan, include a little bullet that you want to use cloth diapers, not disposable diapers. Make sure the hospital has a copy of that birth plan ahead of time and bring in a short one-page version that's laminated um, for each of the nurses um, to see during your labor and delivery and then to have on hand um, for your postpartum stay. Along with that, post a laminated sign on your baby's little plastic bassinet, um, which is they're going to have whether you do rooming in or nursery, that say no disposable diapers and any other things that you want to alert people about um, with your baby, such as um, your preference for bottles and pacifiers and that sort of thing. So just in case there's some well-meaning nurse that wants to slip in while you're sleeping and change your baby's diaper, they don't put a disposable on. Um, but likely that's not going to happen. Don't let the meconium scare you. Yes, baby's first poops are very different. They are black, they are tarry, they are thick. Um, but it's not going to harm your cloth diaper. Um, we had liners on ours, but even with the liners, some of the meconium still got um, past them and onto the diapers. And it washed off easily. Um, it did not affect the diapers. It didn't even stain. Um, we used cloth wipes and um, they got rid of the meconium off, the, off of baby's bottom as well. And all we did with the wipes is run them under water. The hospital may try to send you home with disposable diapers and disposable wipes. It's up to you whether you take them or not. Um, I guess if you don't want to be tempted, um, then just say no thank you. Next comes the laundry issue. Now, a typical stay for postpartum is 48 hours, so two days after you deliver your baby. Um, though it's up to you if you want to stay less, and you could stay longer, especially if you have complications or if you have had a C-section. Now, that would be a lot of cloth diapers if you're not going to do any laundry at all. And I know it was not in my budget to buy that many to begin with. Um, however, the hospital isn't going to let you use their laundry facility. You're not going to have access to their washer or dryer. So try to get somebody to wash and dry your diapers, whether it be your husband, if you have any family who can come by um, and bring them to your home, or even the closest laundromat to the hospital. If nobody can help you out with your laundry, um, it's fine to switch to disposables when you run out. Um, or you may consider using a hybrid diaper while you're there, like the G diapers or flip diapers, so that you can be switching out the inserts and still um, hang on to the covers. I only owned about a day's worth of cloth diapers, so um, my family did diaper laundry twice while I was at the hospital. Number one recommendation for something that's great to bring to the hospital with you is a large wet dry bag. I have a Planet Wise wet dry bag. 
They come in a lot of prints. It's very big. It has handles on the top, so you might want to keep it on the door handle um, in your hospital room. The front part is zippered, and it's just fabric, so this is where you would put your not-yet-used diapers. And then it's a large section with PUL, so it's waterproof where you can put your soil diapers. I use this to put every single diaper-related thing that I brought to the hospital, and it fit it all. Newborn diapers are small, even if you bring a lot of them. Um, but you do want to have an additional, at least, wet bag. Um, it could be small or any waterproof bag, a plastic bag, um, so that if your family is bringing this full of dirty diapers home to do the laundry, you have something to put the couple of diapers your baby goes through while they're gone um, into. Liners are optional. Um, if you're nervous about that meconium, use a liner. Um, but they're definitely not not necessary because you're you're likely not using any harsh diaper creams in those couple of days while you're there. Um, it's unlikely your baby would have a rash, and you're not having solid poops. So it, your poops, even the meconium, are going to be water soluble. You don't need to do anything about the poop. Throw it in the washing machine. There are a variety of kinds of newborn diapers um, that are available for newborn sizes. There are all-in-ones, and some of those brands include. Provia and Kisses, and a Rumperoo's Little Joey's. There are pre-folds, like this one, and I apologize I don't have more newborn diapers to show. Mine are all in the storage unit right now. Um, if you're doing pre-folds, um, they are not waterproof. You need to have some type of waterproof cover, like a PUL cover. And if you're using a prefold, um, it's optional to have snappies. Um, and in my experience, the regular size one snappy worked fine for a newborn. A newborn. So, what about bringing newborn cloth diapers to the hospital? Um, well, the one size diapers, although they say 8 pounds and up usually, I have found they didn't fit my son until he was around 10 pounds. And um, it definitely depends on the size and the shape and the fit of your baby. Even if you think you're going to have a larger baby, even if you have a 10 or 11 pound baby, um, still that baby will probably have skinny legs and a skinny waist. Um, babies just aren't born with all that much extra padding. Um, so it would be hard to get a tight, snug fit that you need in a diaper. Um, I would not recommend bringing one-sized diapers to the hospital, um, and those include most of your pocket diapers. So yeah, newborn diapers. It costs more to get them. They're not going to wear them for that long a, a time. Uh, mine didn't fit my son once he was about 11 or 12 pounds. So if you're concerned about spending the money on them, there are rental services. You can rent a uh, stash of newborn diapers, return them when they don't fit anymore. You can buy used diapers. I think almost all of mine were used. A couple came off of my registry. Um, borrow some, you know, if I had a friend um, having a baby soon, I would give them my newborn diapers to borrow. They're just sitting in a storage unit right now. Um, do a combination of some newborn cloth diapers and some disposable diapers, you know. No harm in that. And um, once you've used them, get more for your money by saving them for your next baby. Thank you so much for watching. I know that was long, but I hope that you found it helpful. Please leave video responses below of your experience using cloth in the hospital. Um, I'm so excited for how it worked for me. I did have help from my parents and my husband to make it work, um, and I'm excited that my son has been cloth diapered from the start. No icky dioxins getting on his skin. And if you have any more questions, um, please leave them below. I do have on my channel ZKT8EF. I have reviews of um, prefolds and covers for newborns and reviews of all-in-ones for newborns. Thanks, bye.